In this module, you'll use the newsletter template to learn about changing document views, customizing zoom levels, splitting the window, showing and hiding formatting symbols, adding document properties, and customizing the quick access toolbar. To begin, let's start by making sure you know how to switch between document views. You can view documents in four different ways. Each view is optimized for different tasks and presents your document differently. You can switch quickly from one view to another to make your work easier and to access the features that you want to use. To switch views on the View tab, click the name of the view that you want or click a view icon on the View Changer. The View Changer is located in the lower right corner of the Word window. The default view is Print Layout, which allows you to see the document as it will appear when printed. Web Layout gives you a sense for how content appears if published to the web. While Outline View is a nice view for creating an outline and manipulating text easily. Lastly, Draft View simplifies the layout for editing and formatting text. You can change the zoom level of your document to see more or less of a particular page or to see more than one page on the screen. To do this, head to the View menu on the ribbon and find the Zoom group. Depending on the orientation and resolution of your monitor or screen, you'll want to either zoom in or out by clicking the magnifying glass and choosing a predefined level or customizing it using the percent selection box. Try selecting 75% and click OK. You'll also want to choose one page, multiple pages, or page width to adjust the number of pages you see on the screen. Let's choose multiple pages for now. To the right of the zoom group is a group called Window. Here you can split the Word window into two panes so that you can view two different parts of a document at the same time. Try it by clicking Split. A new window shows below the existing one. This is useful if you want to copy and paste text and graphics into a long or complex document. For now, click Remove Split on the ribbon. A handy feature found above the ribbon is the Quick Access Toolbar. It's a customizable toolbar that contains a set of commands that are always available no matter which menu you've selected on the ribbon. There are two ways to add your most commonly used commands. The first is by clicking the drop down arrow found above the left hand side of the ribbon. Here you can check or uncheck commands. The ones that are checked display in the blue area above the ribbon. The second way to add a command to the quick access toolbar is to simply right-click a command icon on the ribbon and choose Add to Quick Access Toolbar. Sometimes it can be helpful to view spaces, indents, and paragraphs in your document. Turn these formatting marks on by clicking the paragraph icon in the paragraph group on the Home tab. Hide them by clicking it again. You can customize which marks to show in the display settings by clicking File, then Options. For now, let's keep them off. Document properties include details such as title, author name, subject, and keywords. To change or add properties, click the File tab, then Info. Hover your pointer over the property you want to update and enter the information. Let's change the title property to Antarctica Newsletter.